I'm Charles of Charles King Property Preservation Training Academy. Today, I'll be addressing the highly anticipated answer to the most frequently asked question, who are the best companies to apply for? And I'll be breaking down the five key elements to look for in determining a company's validity. Okay, when I first started property preservation, I was on the hunt looking for all the best companies I could find online to sign up for. I was open to any suggestions, recommendations, Google reviews, you name it. And what I found was the strongest lead I got on companies that were great to work for came from one of those places, suggestions. But not just any suggestion. They were suggestions from contractors in my coverage area currently doing business with the companies they were recommending. And why is it important that the recommendations come from contractors within the area of your coverage? For the sake of not upsetting anyone, for this example, I'll use letters versus names. I asked the contractor out of my region if he knew of any good companies that had work in my area. After giving me several great suggestions, he also gave me suggestions of companies to stay away from. Out of those stay away from suggestions was a company I was currently doing a lot of work for. When I asked what was wrong with this particular company, he replied, stay away from them. You'll never get your money. And when you do, it'll always be late. Yet for this company, I always got my money and it was always on time. And over the years, I've come to realize why there's a mix in information about good companies versus bad companies amongst contractors in its territory coverage. All companies aren't strong in all regions. And even if they are strong in all regions, most have different reps and staff coverage in each region. And as we know, not everyone performs their job duties the same. Most guys who are in the industry know this as they have seen some of the horror work left behind by bad contractors. So the contractor in the Northern region says company A is the best company to sign up for right now. While contractor in the Midwest region says company A is the worst. How could this be? It's the same company, right? Well, let's look at some of the key factors on company A. One, covers 48 states. Two, has different regional managers in all regions. Three, are headquartered in the Northern region where they're the strongest. Four, has good contractors and bad contractors on their roster. Five, is a multi-million dollar company that has been around for a long time. Okay, first, to cover 48 states and actually have a workload in each of those states, you have to have a contract of some sort with another party. So if company A is said to be slow in your region, but busy in another, it could be that the contract that they hold doesn't currently have a strong workload in your area, or they may have a lot of contractors in your area and work is just slim. Second, they have different regional managers in all regions. And as contractors and PMP know, there are new regional managers all the time. This could be because they want to rotate their staff to see if they perform the same in different areas. They may have been fired due to low numbers or whatever. Point being, different regional managers operate differently. Regional manager, unhappy contractor. Proactive productive regional manager, happy contractor. Thirdly, they're headquartered in the northern region. This area could be the location where they started, hence the reason why they have the most influence and productivity in that particular area, which could be why contractors in that region think they're the best. Fourthly, they have good as well as bad contractors on their roster, and you could be getting negative info about company A from a bad contractor which is why he would say company A is no good to work for because he won't admit that much of the work he performed for company A was no good. Lastly, they're a multi-million dollar company that's been around for a very long time. This means whatever contractual agreements they hold, they renew or continue to get new ones because they fulfill the ones they get. You cannot continue to make millions of dollars because you're not doing something right. Now I know what my fellow contractors are saying. Well, it's because they're ripping off their contractors and stealing our money. Let me say this. If you're foolish enough to continue to do work for people who steal your money, you don't deserve to make decisions for your company. Bottom line, 
And some may say, we have to feed our families somehow. But if that company is stealing your money, they're not helping you feed your family. They're stealing from your family. And I'll be damned if I continue to do work for anyone who steals from me or my family. So when you're looking for a good company to apply for, start by asking the people doing work in your area first. I have found this to be the best lead source. Don't be afraid to give company A a try. If it works, great. If it doesn't, drop them, keep it moving. You have the power to do that as a contractor. Now, if you're new and don't know of anyone in your area, drop a message in the comments of where you're from, what area you're working out of, and what you're looking for. And maybe someone from your area can give you some good suggestions. Contractors helping contractors. Also, I have a new online training launching very soon where I'll be helping new people wanting to get into the industry, get set up the correct way and start with a successful property preservation company. It will be packed with in-depth topics like setting up your company from scratch, how to establish business credit, invoice, marketing, and much more. Key strategies about subjects involving how to stay ahead of the curve, getting prepared for the unexpected, bidding the correct way, well, I'll go in depth showing you how myself and companies I've mentored have gotten bid approvals for jobs others couldn't get. You'll also learn bid approvals count for upwards of 80% of the real money you make. Of course, this is a percentage that I came up with based on my own experience and may vary from others. So click the link below this video to get notified when the free training and course will launch. Once again, my name is Charles of Charles King Property Preservation Training Academy. Till next time.